we're back with the fan service of the season we left off last episode with a big big cliffhanger a battle to see who's the strongest so without further ado let's go ahead and jump in oh yeah she's bewildered who's gonna come on top i think it's gonna be alto i mean right that's the logical answer here Oh, 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 he did something extra. Oh, damn. Damn. He's like, I already know who's gonna win. Wait, really? Wow, he has no faith in Alto. He's gonna get. He's good. Oh, damn. Dang, okay. Yeah, you better give up. It's game over for you. GG, well played. Let's go. So now I wonder what's gonna happen. Uh, is the uh, power dynamic in the school going to change? Because isn't she one of the strongest in the school? Right? She was. Uh, was she gold? Was she gold rank? I don't think she was gold rank, but everybody wants a piece of him now. Oh, that and she's gonna be extra jelly. I wonder how how uh, Vermeil is gonna take this. Yeah, a gold square member. There you go. Oh, uh, is that a professor? Yeah, Professor Obsidian. Uh, is that good or bad news? I, I, I get, I don't know if I get good or bad vibes from this professor. You know what I mean? Like, he has a point, right? He, he took a gamble on this, right? Uh, I have a feeling this guy is gonna be the villain. I don't know. I don't, look at, look at that smile. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he, he seems too nice. Too nice. Right, and he's like the cool professor, right? He's got everybody trusting him. Nah, nah. What? We know what her type is. Hmm, I wonder what she's gonna say. Wow. Okay. So respect. You know, she 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 follows the rules, and wow, she's even apologizing. Damn. Wow. Okay. 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 I like I like characters like that. Nah, come on now. Like I, I know, I know what you meant by that, but you guys are nowhere near the same level. Oh damn! Here we go. Uh, you gotta get consent first, girl. Come on now, don't be doing that, right? Like you can't just be doing that out of nowhere. Um, what? What? And I thought we were doing. We 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 had a good couple minutes in before I figured. You know what? Well, maybe we don't have to censor this episode. And they put a lot of details into those lips. Alto. It's a little too late for that, my friend. It's already way too late for that. Uh, mm, is that true? I don't think that's true, but I think she's in love with his mana. She got extra mana, huh? A whole lot of extra mana. Can a demon really fall in love with a human? Interesting question. Oh, look who, look who he's asking. That professor is here again. Which, once again, I don't know how I feel about him. Really? Women bearing the children of demons. So I'm, I'm guessing the reverse can be true as well. So they can, you know, mingle. Uh, so is he actually believing that Vermeil is falling in love with him? Yep, there it is. Exactly, right? Like, you can't really... Like, does Vermeil actually love Alto, or does she love his mana? You can't really... It's really hard to tell what love is, right? Once again, anime food looks so good. We got a little bit of steak, a little bit of potatoes. Is he actually falling in love with her? Is that the issue right here? Ah, there it is. So we see some of his insecurity kind of kind of coming out, right? And you are a demon, right? Like, let's be real. That's like your whole thing. That was the first thing you, you did and said when you came out, right? Oh, give me some of that mana. Like, was that a love kiss? Wow. Oh, she didn't take mana though, right? Yeah. That was a legit kiss. Interesting. 
are they actually gonna explore this whole romantic thing with a human and a demon i i honestly thought that lilia was going to be the 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 main romantic demons are so mean damn okay oh now nah, he's the one glowing they're both glowing interesting i think lilia got left behind i think the teacher is gonna put two and two together right like okay your familiar is a demon ain't ain't she you're still confused, huh? Every woman is a feisty little demon. Damn. You know, he might actually be a good guy. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Look at Alto's face. Like, did he just really say that? Damn, I'm guessing I'm guessing he's been burned way too many times by women before. So that's probably why he feels like that. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Here we're gonna see his truth. Yep. There you go. The, the glasses, the glasses, that's villain 101. See, when the glasses are doing the little shiny thing where you can't see the eyes, anime villain 101. Right? He's manipulating people. Villain, hint. Oh, okay. That's not cool. That's creepy right there. Oh, damn. Oh damn, he's he's manip Oh see I told you I told you I can spot villains from a mile away. Come on now. I've been watching anime way too long to not notice that. Come on now. I'm telling you. Oh she dead. She dead she dead dead, ain't she? She frozen? Oh so her her room was frozen and she specializes in ice magic. So that means Polly, whatever she got injected with, Polly did something to her mana, to her magic that caused it to go haywire. Oh, so there it is. So, so that professor is testing so some sort of uh, I don't know, I don't know what you would call that because it's definitely not medicine if it's putting you into a coma. The president is in great pain. Oh, so I guess, I guess that's kind of like telling him, you better get to work on this. Like, we're not playing. Like, that felt like a threat, right? Like, the way she was looking at him, like, the president is in great pain. You might want to ease her pain real, right, like, right now. Why is he measuring her height? Wow, so he's insecure about how, how you know, his height. I'm getting a little taller every day. I don't think that's how that works. What the? What is? Is that a pickle? Is that supposed to be a pickle? High weight, their features, daily daily activities. Yeah, he's he's gonna have to skip that one. As much depth. Yeah, he cannot give that many details. There you go. That look at. She knows. She knows what's up. I'm pretty sure when when they said measure, it's probably like height. And that's about it. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Is somebody spying on them? Oh, 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 that's Lilia's little. What, what are you doing? That's the, what are you doing, Lilia? Wait till she finds out that what they're doing is, you know, they're doing the nasty. I couldn't even hold damn bro she's going out don't do that don't don't do not do you not learn your lesson from last time hey and she bro she's worse than the demon how the how has she not learned her lesson from this little invisible potion That's what I'm saying. What was that noise for? At this point, she's just teasing Alto. Oh, Lilia. This is a mistake. This is a mistake already. Oh, does Lilia know that Vermeil is a demon? I don't think she knows, right? Probably gonna find out. Oh my, don't do that. Oh my. Why did they? Why did they do that? Oh my! How? Uh, hey, 
Oh, she's a freak, bro. And on top of that, how did Alto not notice that he touched something that, you know, come on now. Oh, damn. So I guess that that dragon, uh, yeah, Chris was strong, but she also did a lot of research probably in dragon types. Uh, I don't know. I disagree with that. I feel like at a certain point she was going all out. I mean, maybe I was wrong. I mean, she was just shooting little fireballs with her finger. Maybe if she, you know, uses all her power, she'll throw like a big fireball. I don't know. Oh, I bet she rolled. She rolled. Thinks she likes Alto. Right? Right? Sweets and Alto. Yep. Come on now. Saw that one coming from a mile away. Who's beating her up that easily? Who is it? Oh, damn. He got injected, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He got injected. He got injected. Now, nah, not nah, yep, yep. It's bad news. It's bad news for everybody. But all right, that was episode four of Vermeil in Gold. And, you know, every episode that we watch of this anime, I feel like it does a little bit better to actually uh, try to tell a compelling story, right? Like it's not just about the fan service, right? Some some fan service anime just focus on the fan service. Here they are trying to tell a little bit more of a story. Uh, we see that now, you know, that whole evil teacher injecting students. Yeah, that that's a bad dude. I called it from a mile away. Again, there there are signs, right? For when you watch anime for as long as I have, you're gonna see these signs everywhere. Okay, once you see those glasses shine like that, or you see a a mysterious character shows up and he's way too nice, boom, villain okay now we don't know his uh ulterior motives we don't know what he's trying to do obviously he's doing with some mana stuff trying injecting people and it makes him a lot stronger but there's some side effects it puts you into a coma so who knows what's going on there we don't know exactly what he wants to do uh but he has an interest in alto maybe because alto has that golden aura golden mana maybe he's going to try to do something with that who knows i'm sure vermil ain't gonna let it happen and then the other big thing of course is the whole love situation right is Alto actually falling in love with Vermeil? Honestly, I thought he was going to fall in love with Lilia. It was going to kind of be like a human and human thing. Maybe they're doing a whole triangle thing. Heck, maybe he can have 40 wives. Who knows, right? Maybe this, this will turn into a full harem uh, anime. But the, the issue here is we don't know if Vermeil is actually in love with Alto, right? Like that whole question pops up. Oh, it, it, she's a demon, right? She's probably not in love with you. She's probably in love with your mana. She says she's saying otherwise. She's saying that she is in love with Alto and she has her cute moments, but I don't know if I trust her, right? Because at the end of the day, can you really trust a demon? So that's another thing that's really keeping me in the story of this anime. Because the fan service, you know, I gotta say, compared to like episode one where it was all over the place, they do have they, they are dialing back a little bit on it, right? Where we usually just focus on some serious stuff, and then when they start getting into the com comedy and stuff like that, that's when do the fan service. But again, over here, we don't mind, right? I am enjoying the anime for what it is. It's funny. I am liking the story, what they're building up to. So overall, yeah, I, I want to see the next episode. I want to keep, uh, you know, watching this. So let me know in the comments what you think. And like always, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next episode. Peace out. Boom.